So I know my past couple videos have had urgent in the title and I'm not trying to clickbait or dilute anything uh, by putting that in the title. Things have been rather stable, sideways, and boring for quite some time now. So sometimes we have to turn up the entertainment. Sometimes it can be a little of this, a little of that. But in times like these where there's real opportunity and there's um, more volume and volatility, it's important. So um, let's talk. Let's get to the meat. We talked about CTA, um, crypto or Chinese technical analysis. And there are certain patterns that we have recognized as to be true in this space. One of these patterns, and we've talked about it for a long time on this channel, is what we call the head and shoulders flick off. Or since we're trying to expand this channel, be maybe be a little more professional, more serious in these times, we'll call it the head and shoulders flick. Okay? So a typical TA goes head and shoulders and goes right down. Time and time again in crypto, we get the head and shoulders, then it fakes everyone out, eats up the trading view, kills all the trading view people right here, and then boom, then it goes down. Now, why am I looking at Cardano? Well, I'll tell you why. The people that make the moves are the whales. Everyone and their mother is trading Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it's always, um, and it's not that you can't get good tech from it, Chinese tech analysis from it, of course, but we're always scanning to see what the big money is doing, right? And with Bitcoin and Ethereum, it gets, that image gets diluted. Cardano. Since even back to our, when this channel was just a trade bot, profit trailer channel for the most part, we made a lot of money off Cardano. Cardano was a coin that we'd love to trade. And I forgot about it for a little while now. But I uh, met with a gentleman who is, and I don't remember his name, I have his card, but he is the founder of something called Earth Dollar. And their mission is to solve world poverty, right? Look into it. Anyways, when I was talking to the guy, he said, this one of his favorite coins, Cardano. And um, I told him I liked Cardano. I don't really know or, I mean, I do know a little bit about it. But from a trading point of view, I like Cardano. And right now, I love it. I love it to the point where I have more money being traded with Cardano than, than anything else right now on BitMEX. The only thing I don't like is I can only use 20x leverage, um, and I'm confident right now. So right now, we said the head and shoulders flick. We, we, we feel bullish right now. There's people that are changing their minds. They're going, oh, I might go back up, right? Um, but let's, let's zoom out on this. We're on the three-hour. Let's go to the 12-hour. Now let's go to the day and see if this makes a difference. Look for the Chinese dragon line. Hmm. So I feel like there's whale. This is what the, the big money's doing. Um, this is giving me a good read on the whole market. Oh, so here's my point. Now you would say, okay, well, Cardano doesn't need to translate to Bitcoin and everything else. Something we've noticed here, if you're new to the channel, um, and we've known it for a long time, but as of right now, when every single coin moves, right, the whole market, the whole crypto market's tied together. Back in the day, Bitcoin would do one thing. Ethereum and shit coins would do another that's why we traded with Ethereum pairs. If you're trading with Bitcoin pairs, you get screwed. Right now, it's a little bit different. It's Chinese. The Chinese, and it's not a joke. When all the coins move in unison, it's because the Chinese are making the moves, right? Um, and that's what's going on right now. It's the Chinese, okay? So recognize this pattern. I am still short. When you feel that little gurgle, that little bubble, I'm telling you, it's scooping up everyone's money, and, and then the dump comes after. The dump comes after. So I am holding my shorts. If your money is – I'm comfortable with the amount of money being traded, where if it goes backwards or something happens or 
whatever, I'm okay with it. So please, if you are trading, trade comfortably. Um, and we'll see if we can get down to like 62.50, 62.50. Um, and then we'll have uh, some nice profits. Um, tax season's coming up here soon. So I'm pretty sure this whole, all this is going to be going to paying taxes. Good luck to you. God bless you.